Hi everyone, welcome to Baking Biker. As we're headed out to Chinook Pass, right now we're taking the Sumner Buckley Highway, uh, bypassing Highway 410 as it goes through Bonnie Lake because it's just, uh, Highway 410 through Bonnie Lake is just like a bunch of strip malls are going by and a lot of traffic lights and this is much more prettier along the old Sumner Buckley Highway. So we're headed over to Chinook Pass, get my motorcycle out for a nice long ride, get me out for a nice long ride on it. Now this is my new 2019 Triumph 800 XRX Low. And this is its first long ride. I've taken it out for many short rides, but this will be its first longer ride, a day ride. We're going to head over to a place called Whistlin' Jack's for lunch. It's hard to say exactly where is Whistlin' Jack's. It's on the east side of the mountains. Yeah, let's see if we're going to see Mount Rainier. I think the, oh, the clouds are covering up Mount Rainier. So no good view of Mount Rainier. Now we're going to come back through Mount Rainier. See how that goes. See if we see anything. That's our plan. We'll see after lunch if that's still the plan. Because those clouds may mean we're going to go a different route. But anyway, Whistling Jacks is on the east side of the mountains and it's between Chinook Pass and Yakima. We'll stop there, have some lunch, and then head back, but hopefully head back across Mount Rainier National Park through Paradise and Longmire. We have our friend Bill along with us again. He likes coming with us whenever we go out on a little day ride or even on our long rides. He's coming with us this fall as we're going to go go to Utah, see the canyons, go to Bryce and Zion and Canyonlands and Moab, Arches, that's it. The Arches and Moab should be quite beautiful. So we're going to do that later in September and Bill will be joining us on that trip too. We're east of Enumclaw here on Highway 410 and uh, beautiful drive. It's a beautiful day. The temperature's in the low 70s. The hills uh, are just looking great out there. When you get to see them. There are times you're kind of in a tunnel of trees and then other times it just opens up and you get these fantastic views. Now Highway 410 here goes up to uh, a ski area called Crystal Mountain. It's a great ski area outside of Seattle. Uh, Rick and I try to get there once in a while uh, because we both are instructors over at Snoqualmie Pass. Uh, we don't get to the Crystal Mountain too often to actually free ski. We always talk about it every year and then we get busy and just don't make it. So, anyway, a gorgeous view today. Wonderful scenery here in the northwest. Anyway, Highway 410 here, uh, during the winter time, it's actually closed after the Crystal Mountain Cutoff Road. Then they close the highway at that point uh, because there's too much snow on the road. And they just can't keep up with the amount of snow uh, that is on this road. So they close it. It's called Chinook Pass, and they close it somewhere around October, November, depending upon when the snow actually starts. And then typically it reopens around Memorial Day weekend, the last weekend of May. Unless we really have a late season and it has opened later. Rarely does it ever open earlier. And I see Rick is waiting to pass. He's going to pass that car as soon as he gets an opening. See how this uh, motorcycle is at passing? I still don't even have 300 miles on this motorcycle yet. I am over 200 miles now. But I'm not supposed to rev it up over 5,000 RPMs until I get to at least 500 miles. So, uh, well, we might be having to get it up there up to 5,000 RPMs to pass the car. We'll see. There it goes, Rick. We'll have an opportunity now. Okay, my turn. Here we go. Thank you. Well, I had to uh, change out the battery on my GoPro, but look at where I got to stop. 
a great view. Can't see Mount Rainier, but we're in the middle of the Cascades and we're now on the east side of Mount Rainier. So now we're going to head up to the top of Chinook Pass. There we go. Look at that view. Oh, Mount Rainier is mostly out. A little bit of cloud there covering it, but oh my goodness. Chinook Pass is a beautiful pass. And I didn't want you to miss this, so when I saw my battery was dying, I thought, I gotta change out the battery. So you can see this gorgeous view on Chinook Pass. And I see most of the snow is gone now, so the hiking trail should be in really good shape. And we'll get up to the very top up here. And then we'll stop, take some pictures. In the great outdoors, forever free. on going east to Whistling Jacks for lunch. They have a little restroom area. Oh, a bunch of motorcyclists. It's a favorite stop of us motorcyclists. It's a favorite ride of us motorcyclists. So now you get to see the view while we ride. Great little road. Wonderful view, just fantastic views here. Whistling Jacks. It's up here for a little lunch. We never stayed at the lodge before. We only come here for lunch. Rick is looking for some shade. Oh yeah, over there by the motorhome, next to the tree. Our view during lunch. It's a beautiful day, mid-70s, and that is the American River. We're headed back up to Chinook Pass, so we came down Chinook Pass, we're going to go back up Chinook Pass, and then we're going to cut over at Cayuse Pass, and then cut through Rainier National Park. Oh my goodness. This is such a beautiful ride. And right now the temperature is, uh, well, as we're climbing, it's going down into the 60s. I think at the top it'll probably be around the, the low 60s. But while we were at Whistling Jacks, I think it was in the upper 70s. You can really feel the temperature difference. Mm -hmm. 
little patches of snow still on the hills. mostly sunny and these few clouds around anyways it's a beautiful day So there's our turn, Paradise Lungmire. That's the way we're gonna go. You can go in there. Now, going in this part of Rainier National Park, you do need to have, you gotta slow down a little bit more. There we go. You do have to have a pass or you have to pay. But Rick and I, and I think Bill, we all have senior passes. Yep, the old geezer pass, we have them. The lifetime pass. There we go. So we'll get up there and give them our lifetime pass and keep on going. There we are, Mount Rainier. Wow. We have been so blessed with uh, just a little bit of clouds around it, but nothing on top. So you can see the top of the mountain. You see most of it. So if you've not been out here in the great northwest, you need to come visit. And if you have a sunny day, you need to come out to Mount Rainier. And those who live here, if you've not been here, you need to take this drive. It's beautiful. It's worth it. Even the fees to come into the park, it's well worth it. But we'll get more views. That was just the beginning. So we're going to pull out over at this uh, turnout over here because behind me is Mount Rainier and we're going to get some pictures. So we're going to stop here, take a couple pictures, but you can't see it until I get stopped. And this is a beautiful place to take a picture. What a great view. The mountain's out. No clouds are covering it. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. God created a beautiful mountain. And we're so fortunate that we live here that we get to see it every day. The clouds are not covering it. We usually don't get to see this side though. This is the east side of Mount Rainier, and we always see the west side. So we're going to continue on uh, past Paradise, and, uh, and then continue on home. Wow, look at that. That's just amazing. Well, I think I'm going to leave you here with that view. There it is. Look at that. I'm going to leave you here with that view. And I uh, hope you enjoy our, our little motorcycle ride with uh, great views of Mount Rainier. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe for future videos. Thank you for watching.